Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we are going to be looking at the sub function on Power Automate. Now what is the sub function? It's for subtraction. It is for minusing one number from another. So let's actually take a look at how this works then. We have two variables. User one age, which is an integer variable of 28, and user two age, which is an integer variable of 33. Now what if we wanted to find the difference? We wanted to subtract 28 from 33. Well, if we use the sub function, we can pass in user age two first, because that's the one that is going to be subtracted from, and then pass in the second number, or the second variable in our instance of user one age of 28. So we then have 33 minus 28. Okay. So, what do we get back? We get back a 5, because we have subtracted 28 from 33, and that is the remainder number. So let's actually see how this works on Power Automate then. Okay, so we are on Power Automate, and we have a manual trigger for our flow. We are setting the user1 age variable, which is an integer type, to 28, and we are setting the second uh, user age variable of user two age, which is an integer type as well, to 33. Now, we've got a compose action where we're going to be running our sub function to get the age difference. So the sub function effectively is passing in the user two age variable, this variable first, and then we are passing in the second variable of user one age which is this one, because this is smaller than this, and we do not want a negative number, we want to get the age difference. So we're passing in the highest age first, and minus in the lowest age. So, let's actually kick this off and see what we get back. Right, so our trigger is successful, we've set our variables, we have then run our compose, which had our sub function in it, and we got back 5, because 5 is the remainder when you use 33 minus 28. So that is how you use su the sub function, the subtraction function, to actually subtract numbers and create simple mathematical equations on Power Automate. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.